In this video, guys, we are going to look at where's the sweet spot in a pullback. Stick around for this one because we're going to look at the whiteboard, then we're going to hit the screens and see a trade on there too. Hey guys, one well, welcome to you. All right, so before we get down into this and we hit the screens in a moment and look at a trade on the screens, this video is brought to you by our channel sponsor, which is Core Spreads Australia. There's a link to them in the description below. Go there now, open the description box and go and check them out. Tight spreads, decent markets, decent platform, good core trader two platform. I'm gonna have a look in a second and look at a trade on there so you can see it for yourself. But open up a demo, have a play around and see uh, the platform for yourself. So that's core spreads, Australia, the link to them in the description below. Go and check them out. They've got a good loyalty scheme as well, by the way. Okay, so let's have a look. Where's the sweet spot in a pullback? So the problem we've got with the pullback is, we've talked about pullbacks before. Listen, it's a good staple for any trader, active trader, day trader, swing trader. Momentum, pause, we're looking for continuation of that momentum. Pretty simple, simple's best. But the challenge we have is, too soon, what happens? We have too soon, we have to take heat. And we don't want to take as much heat. We don't mind taking a bit of heat, but if we take too much heat, of course, at some point, we're going to capitulate. We're going to have to come out. We can't take a massive amount of heat because number one, it ruins the risk reward ratio of the trade. If we're too soon, we're going to have a wide stop and then it ruins the whole game. I know we can't do as much size as we'd like potentially, but too late, we end up missing the trade. If we have our kind of, listen, we have our entry really, really low, we end up missing the trade or we end up taking a trade to a full scale reversal. So, you know, we've got to protect against the reversal as well, but at the same time, we've got to try and judge how strong this thing is. There's a lot of variables that go into it. How much size do we put on? Do we add to the position? How far do we want it to go to, to get the perfect entry, but not too far that it's a reversal type territory? You know, do we kind of chase our highs, momentum? Do we, how do we play the game? We'll have a look at a second in the screens. Or we'll go to the screens in a second. But, you know, if we think about how strong is the move, you know, if it's a really strong move, then we're not probably not going to get a deeper pullback as we would like, or it doesn't really matter if we like it or not, we're probably really going to get a pause. In actual fact, you know, you can feel a little bit more comfortable buying a little bit higher. You can mitigate the chance of taking heat by, you know, adjusting your size. So obviously the good thing about uh, you know, spread trading, if you're using core spreads, Australia platform is, you know, you can trade you know, one pound a point, whatever you need to do to keep your size down so that you can scale in under a plan, under a kind of bigger, broader thesis, you know, not just scaling in blindly and hoping because that's disastrous, guys, but, you know, scaling in uh, so that you spread the risk a little bit. So you get an average entry about the sweet spot. And sometimes you might uh, you know, you might not get the entry you want, you might not get the kind of where it goes, uh, the low that you want, and we'll see that in a moment. And you know, sometimes you have to be content with the size you've got, but at least you're kind of playing a little bit defensively. Because if you're going full boat, right at the high, you're chasing the thing, you could sit through quite a heavy pullback, still very, very valid trade, but all of a sudden you're underwater by, you know, a decent amount and you haven't really got much room in the trade left before, you, you know, you're at your max loss and you've got to get rid of it. So. Strength of the move, distance of the move in terms of, you know, strength we could say is the angle, distance we could say in terms of how many points this thing's moved. Is there a catalyst there to add fuel to the fire? Well, the current conditions of the market, in a bull market, bear market, is stuff being shrugged off, etc. cetera. Uh, and recent response to these kind of things before. So in the current environment, maybe you say, well, actually most of the time we have this kind of move, it gets undone within the next five minutes. Uh, most of the time these things hold. You know, you've got to gauge it depending on what market you're trading. Are you trading, you know, silver? Are you trading gold? Are you trading crude oil? Are you trading indices? Are you trading a stock? What are you trading? So these are the kind of things you need to look at. So ideally, and I know this is, you know, we're, we're, we're kind of cherry picking here, but this is ideally what we're looking for. We don't want to be too late. We don't want to miss the thing. We don't want to be too early. We don't want to take too much heat. We want to try to find the sweet spot. And like I say, this isn't, you know, we. If we could do this all the time, guys, it would be perfect. But we've got to try to do as much as we can to get it. So if we kind of adding a little bit to the position here, maybe we take a little bit here, and maybe we plan to add a little bit more, a little bit more that case. In that case, if it does reverse pretty, or if it does go pretty quickly, we've at least got something on and we can deal with that and, and work that trade. Uh, if it goes deeper, we get a little bit more on, but not too deep that we've got to protect ourselves against that full reversal. So still, at some point, we've got to have you know our stop in there, whether we're putting it in physically in the platform or whether we're using a mental stop, uh, depending on how you want to approach things. We've got to have the risk manage whatever we do. Anyway, guys, what we'll do now is we'll 
hit the screens. Uh, the recording I've got is actually five times speed. No one wants to sit there and watch it all uh, in actual speed. I kind of annotated a chart on as well so you can see the arrows for the buys and the sells. Using the Core Spreads Australia Core Trader 2 platform, trading from the chart on that. Let's go check it out. All right, so here we go. Long on this really good catalyst drive up, breaking highs, uh, taking a long there, 07. Um, looking to kind of be wary that there could be a deeper pullback that you'd like to get long on, but kind of seeing if it gives you anything uh, quickly. So there's a quick uh, 20 points trade on that one. You can see the red arrow coming in. These are all core spreads Australia core trader two charts. I've got the black charts there and then the white chart screenshot uh, just after the fact putting the arrows on for clarity. Looking for a deep pullback now. That's the proper trade you want. Really want to get that under 27,800 and then have a wick format. Don't see it, see a kind of wick start to form there. So back in long uh, at that point there, 27,814. Looking to add more under 27,800 if we get it and it stalls. Not just kind of dive in, looking good, trying to get the ad, trying to get the ad. Uh, looks like we're going to have to be content with what we've got here. So fine, still have to trade with them position you've got uh, it's all very well saying you wish you had more but hey it is what it is so now we see we start to push back up and rules normally are scale out some at the highs there so there's a there's a scale out some of the position there uh, there's a scale out as we kind of break into highs there now we're on five times speed with this chart just so no one gets bored i'm uh, doing a bit of analysis again on the core trader 2 platform from uh, core spreads australia got it in dark mode and i'm just kind of looking at different time frames here uh, putting some markers on and I'm really working out that 20, 27,900 is, is kind of where I want to be with the exit on this. Uh, you know, that would be, um, you know, just, just, just shy of 100 points on the tray. But if it, if it overshoots, then, then great. I want to see what happens at the open, really. So we're sitting there at the open now. We open and we drive pretty aggressively. So take some off there at uh, 27,930 and 27,920. Uh, so actually more than 100 points. Uh, on that trade, so that's a, the kind of pullback trade. Didn't pull back deep enough really to to go in crazy with it, but you know the pattern was there nevertheless. And the biggest thing you've got to kind of prevent yourself from getting caught up in is chasing without having the ability to sit through a pullback. So very well chasing, but as long as you're with a size enough that if you can pull back, you can get the actual entry that you want. So you know it's never black and white. Pullback's nice if you can get like a double bottom on a pullback. Perfect. If you can't, you've got to work with what you got. Anyway guys, that was uh, Core uh, Spreads Australia, the Core Trader 2 platform using the charts uh, from them. Go and check them out. Link to those guys in the description below.